Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We are out here this morning, hoping to have a much better, smoother trip than last time. We see what we can find. Uh, bait sounds like it's easier to find. Fish sounds like it's easier to find. Should be all right. Let's catch one for the team. And most okay. importantly, what did you bring? Catch one for the team. We brought our lunch today, guys plenty of food so uh, we won't go hungry so the morale has already been boosted on the boat <laughs> So that was a, a little bit of a struggle. I mean, there were a lot there, but they were moving really fast in kind of shallow water, six, seven feet of water. So it was kind of difficult to get on them. Guys, it's been a long time finding live bait. Yeah. We're ready to go. Let's go catch a fish. What was the issue? Was the swells or? Yeah, it was kind of threw me off because of kind of the long ones and the water was so shallow, so it was right on the breakers. Yeah. So you have to be careful and not get you behind if it's all in the water. Was the wind okay? The wind was kind of out of the west a little bit, so it was hard to throw into it. I know. You tell. Well, usually, usually you say, why are you putting me right into the wind to throw the net? So I'm yeah. like, well, we're in six feet of water. I can't get any. We, I can drop you off on land, and we can try to throw it that way. I'll pick you up. There you go. I didn't have much option there. All right, so you got the autopilot set, and we're ready to ride it? Yep, we're ready right, to ride. Right. Let's go catch it. How far are we out? Ten miles. It. Right, well, so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, you see that? Fish Kingfish just skied it. Did he hit it? Yeah. He on? Uh, no, nah, he must have got off. Just missed the hook somehow. That was a good sign. There was two on it, too. He. Yeah. Two hooks, two baits, no fish. Hey, we've gotten lunch. So that's a good day. We got lunch. We got bait. I mean, we're already way ahead of last week. And the downriggers. And with the end of downriggers. <laughs> so. Man, that's like a full meal deal there, isn't it? I know. Maybe we should go home while we're ahead. Oh, there we go. So that's really interesting. So we got dead bait, live bait. Had one strike on the live bait. It's kind of a weird bite, though, isn't he? Yeah. Or if he's uh, maybe like a remorse. Okay, I got leader. You know, I'm partial to the cobia ways. Can you see what it is? Uh, it's kingfish. Little kingfish. <laughs> that was a weird fight, wasn't it? <laughs> so we had four lives out and he came on a dead, huh? Yeah. Fish on, fish on. All right, this one's on a lobby. Turn that boat a little bit to the right. There you go. Good job, Captain. Captain Kayla, that's kind of got a ring to it, Kayla. Dang, that fish might be a good fish there. Dang, this fish is solid. If it's a king, it's a big one. Maybe it's a cobia. I'm hoping. Uh, oh, uh, no, it's fish on. Fish on. That's that, uh, that's that, that's that little, uh, whiting. Oh, the whiting? Yeah. Oh, we got us a variety. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Yours seems solid too. He's solid. Uh, see if we can't work him up. Ease him on up. Are you yeah, you're going around me? Yeah. What is it? It's a uh, cobia. Isn't it? it is a cobia. It is a cobia. I think it's a keeper awesome. too, isn't it? 
probably why this one is too. Oh yeah. Yours is probably bigger. Yeah. I think he might be a little short. It's like lipping a big bass. Dang. Oh, wow, yeah. look at that. Yeah, he might be a little small. Mine's kind of come up a little like high now. Look at these. Got little spikes on the back. Looks like a saltwater catfish. Call them sometimes. Yeah, just short. What is he? 30. 32. See you, buddy. And back into the water again. All right, mine might be getting kind of close. Okay. Now we can focus on one fish, so that's good. This fish should be getting tired because I am. Yeah, you'd think yours would be close. Fuck me. Right. See if you think that drag's too tight. I marked my drags so we know we can put on them. But sometimes it's not the strength of the line that's the determining factor. It's the small hook. It's the pull. Uh, yeah. Look, 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 what is this? Look, you can't, look at this short. What is that? Big short. Big old shark. You see him? That ain't one on your line, is it? Think it's a short? I'm thinking it's a shark. One of the big shark. And one big one, that might have been his buddy. He's mad. He'll come back before vengeance. Yeah. They said it will take retribution out. Did it come off? Probably, finally. Look, look, look right here, Kevin. Just the wire. Oh, wow, well, yeah. We had it for a while, though. What will old Quint say? Maybe a tuna or a marlin? <laughs> like a piano wire or something. Tuna or marlin does that. Hey. <laughs> He come back for the second time. He, he jump out. Was that a king or could you tell? I couldn't tell, but he hit it the first time and he didn't get it. And I dropped it back on him and he got it. So, so that, He's running more like a king. That's uh, good. Here, you want him? I right, know you got him. Still wore out from the shark. All right. Dead bait. Why are we even wasting time catching live bait these days? Uh, I'll fish it. I got leader. You ready for the gas? I like to leave the clicker on just so I'll know how the fish is doing. Yeah. If it's running or. How you looking? I think he's going to come past it. Hopefully. All right, coming up. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Maybe. That sound like he's quite ready. All right, Gaffer Man, you ready? I got color. All right. Fish on, fish on. Dang. Still there. Deep drop down, Rigga. I don't know, let me straighten that boat up. Are you back ready for gap or no? Good tight school. Uh, yeah, he's. You ready? Uh, just about. He's. I see him, but. Uh, you're ready, but he's not. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? There you go. Fish on, fish on. Tit double or no one. Hi, right, Kelly. You gotta grab that one. Yeah, you got to. That's pretty crazy, huh? Doubles again. What happened to that eight? Did it? It broke. Okay. I think that the other line hit it. Oh, gotcha. Hey, it's coming up. Are we gaffable yet? Yeah. You ready? 
Alright, Kayla, there's your fish. You see, there's line from the, from the fishing reel. There we go, that was him. Alright, Glenn, work up to the front there. And... Ready? What do you think, Kayla? You got that big shark? Smaller The eight foot sharker? I had to let it go because I got leader again. You ready? Come on. How's that? There you go. Yeah, it is a big one. Good job. So how many we've had? At least three? Yeah, half of them have been on cigars. Cigars have been 100% productive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you all learned some stuff. Had a Thanks. great day. Yeah, we, we were on what, a time frame when we had doubles, what, two, three, four times maybe. Yeah. Skyrocketing Kings, um, just a great day. Um, my dear Kayla caught her a couple of Kings. So, this first King she caught in what, 10 years maybe? Or more. So. It was, um, it was just completely different than the last trip. We got bait, we had down to review our food. As soon as we put a line out, we didn't even have it spread out. We had a king sky. I think only like one line was out before we even had one popping. So. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, well, when they started, it was like wide open. Yeah. Cigar, the dead cigar men is in the wash that we're hitting. Yeah, and that's probably what surprised me the most. We got half of our fish on dead cigar minnows trolling, just slow trolling like we do live bait. Right. And of course, half on our live bait. Yeah, but the thing is, we had four live baits and one dead bait out. That's true. And we were catching that as many on that one dead as we did before live children. Yeah, you know, it kind of makes you wonder sometimes why am I wasting time with live bait at all? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. That'll be something we'll have to keep testing. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, you know. that, that's that's the thought, especially offshore. I mean, sure, I think, you know, they feed on the puggies a little better, but when you're on those wrecks, you know, um, yeah, zero minutes is their bait of choice. I've heard sometimes kings just are lazy. I mean that. Dead bait is kind of like an eh, easy meal. Yeah, you, know, you think that's all totally lifeless, but you know, I guess they're used to shrimp boats dropping dead baits and other fish injuring baits and the dead baits just falling, so it may not be as weird as we think. There you go. We definitely learned some stuff. Hope you guys learned some things too. Uh, we got more videos to come, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification. Can I get a ding? And we'll see you on the next. Real hazardous release. See you guys.